Hey guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is the sixth time I've tried this video. It's harder now. It's the second day and it's already hard because I know people are watching. And it was so much easier. Like I, I yesterday I was just like, yeah, it's gonna be weeks before someone subscribes. I'm just gonna go, I'm just not gonna care. And now that I, I know that there's at least six people watching because there's six of you that sub subscribed. And I'm just like, uh, but I'm not gonna let that stop. I, I know you guys are here for supporting. You guys have had nothing but nice words to say and just words of encouragement and help and things that have helped you and meditation and walking and, and prescription drugs and just, you guys are amazing. I'm, I'm so happy that you've decided to join me on this, uh, this journey because this is going to be a life-changing event for not just me, I hope it helps you guys too, that you'll see me changing and you'll be able to say, if she can do it, I can do it. Because if I can do it, you can do it definitely. And I hope we can support each other and I'm just, I'm excited. I'm excited and nervous and anxious and all this stuff. But thank you. Thank you for subscribing and you guys are awesome. I'm gonna, this is how I'm gonna do these vlogs. I'm just gonna start from the beginning. From my first memory of anxiety, my first anxiety attack that I can remember, work from then, or from there, it might take a couple days just to work through my lifetime of anxiety and depression and, you know, just, just what has been my mental roadblocks. And then we're going to get to the part where it's fun, you know, not just learning about me, but where I actually start making progress. I hope I do. And I know through your support and through my husband's support, my family support that I'll be able to get, I'll be able to kick this and you guys can too, because honestly, if I can do this, you, you definitely can. Um, my first memory of anxiety, it's vivid. It's very, very vivid. I went and saw Jurassic Park 3 with my dad in theaters, and he's one that pulls your leg. He's just, he's the kind of guy that just likes to tease. And I was always a kid that really couldn't take a joke. I just took things way too seriously, and I just didn't know when people were being serious or just joking. And so, and I was old enough to know that dinosaurs are extinct. I mean, I learned that, like, when I was just a tiny kid. But he just got that, he just has a way of drilling things into your brain and saying, oh, there's going to be dinosaurs in the trees tonight. Don't like, don't walk around the house today or tonight because there's going to be dinosaurs. And I remember going to the bathroom and as you know, I just finished washing my hands and I just couldn't leave the bathroom. I, I felt paralyzed. I felt like if I left the bathroom, I was going to die. So I laid on the ground just crying. I, I don't know for how long it felt like hours. It could have been just minutes, but I felt like someone was standing on my chest and just like, this huge weight on me and I don't know why or when it disappeared or how I finally calmed down enough for it to disappear. I didn't know it was anxiety at that moment. I just, I thought I was dying because it felt like someone just invisible was just crushing me and it was horrible. It was terrifying. I, I now know it's anxiety. You know, I, I, I can recognize that now and I can recognize when I'm having an anxiety attack now, but as a kid, that was just, that was terrifying, and I, that, that memory is just so vivid in my head, and I, I want to know, you know, if you guys were willing to share your first memories of anxiety, if, if you have that vivid first memory, or is it just something that, you know, it's just always been there? I mean, I've had social anxiety since I can remember. I've been terrified of like being around people or being outside around people and just talking to people and people are just people. I know that people are just people. They're just like you and me. They're not going to judge you. And if they do, it's just, you know, they're not going to say it. So it doesn't really going to hurt you, but you keep on thinking that person thinks they're better than me. Are they? And at least that's what goes through my mind or like, Oh my gosh, what if that person just randomly just goes crazy and kills all of us. And that just, it's not normal for you to think that, or for me to think that. It's just, I know it's just the anxiety getting to me. And I know I can get over this. I just need to do it. But 
I want to know what was your first memory of anxiety? Um, how did you deal with it and how did it feel? Leave a comment and I would, and if you have any suggestions about making this video better or these vlogs better, or if you have any questions that you want to bring up that you want people to discuss or you want me to talk about, I am more than willing to talk about anything, honestly. I'm, I'm, I'm open and I'm ready, I'm ready to change my life. I, I'm, I'm so ready for changing my life. I am so excited. And also I want to correct something. I, yesterday I said my son was seven months, I mean eight months old. He's only seven months old. I don't know why I said eight months old. I, I know how old my son is. I'm not a bad mom. But also I, I, I just, I'm so glad. I'm so glad to be here. I'm so glad to do this. I, I did have an anxiety attack last night, but I was able to power through it to to just get over it. It didn't last as long as it usually does, and it wasn't as bad as they usually are. 